Hey friends, welcome back to another episode of Sound Strategies. I'm your host, Robert, and I'd like to start by inviting you to support this channel by subscribing and remember to click the little bell to receive notifications about new videos. So this week's video is in response to a viewer email who asked, what would you recommend for a bedroom recording artist tracking acoustic guitars in an apartment, specifically mic placement? So this is a great question. And I have four tips that I'm going to give you today about recording the acoustic guitar in your room. Are you ready? So before we begin, uh, I want to give you two small little tips to help you get a better acoustic guitar recording. One, trim your nails. Uh, that's a big one. I, I find if my nails aren't short, like I, my nails grow like crazy. And if they're not short, um, I really hear it in my playing. And the second thing is change your strings. It makes a huge difference. Uh, I had one guy that I interned for tell me that you can always take away brightness if there's too much, but it's really hard to add it. You know, you can boost like a high shelf or something, but essentially you're just adding noise if there's no information up there. So I like nice fresh strings and get the clearest possible tone that I can get. So with that being said, let's dive right in. So tip number one is on the miking technique, I use mono miking. I believe that the acoustic guitar is a mono instrument. And because of this, I rarely record it in stereo. To me, its function is adding clarity and texture to the mix. And of course, this, this depends on all, whether it's your main rhythm instrument or if it's just another layer. So there are a lot of multi-mono and stereo mic techniques that you can do to enhance the image and the presence of the acoustic guitar within the mix, but I'm gonna save those for another video. In this video, I will be using a single large diaphragm condenser mic. I've got this wonderful Rode NT1A, and I'm gonna be using that to record my Ovation acoustic guitar. So number two is mic position. Uh, there are two main positions that are really popular when recording the acoustic guitar. There's the body, and the neck around the 12th and 14th fret. So making the body is gonna give you a little bit more low end of the signal. Uh, I avoid putting the microphone right in front of the sound hole because it creates a lot of extra boominess from the air pushing out. Now I haven't really had a big problem uh, with this because with this guitar, it has these several smaller holes uh, which tend to diffuse the air that comes out of it. So I, I've never really had a, a problem with that. Uh, but for the average guitar that has a large sound hole in the center, a common solution to this is to place the, place the mic a little bit lower or higher to move it away from the sound hole. So I'll, I'll let you let you hear what that sounds like. So it's, it's very rich, it's very full, but it does have the tendency to be a little bit boomy. Uh, so you definitely want to avoid the sound hole as much as possible. So the other option is to face the microphone more towards the 12th fret. So if I carefully just move it over here, and I have it so that it's facing right at the 12th, between the 12th and the 14th fret. Um, and then I can angle it more towards the body of the guitar if I need a little bit more warmth. So this is a great way to have the guitar sound detailed and chimey while still being able to dial in the amount of low end in the guitar's sound. Okay, so let's have a listen for that. I could play that all day. I, I think that's so much fun. Okay, so the next thing, number three, is distance. Back the mic up, okay? The instrument will sound much more developed 12 to 18 inches away uh, versus six inches away. There's gonna be less proximity effect uh, to which will result in more natural space from it. So I'm gonna back it up just a little bit more and I'm gonna keep it at the 12th fret. And another, another thing that this is really good for is, is finger picking uh, and single note kind of stuff, arpeggios.
was teaching that today to a student, so uh, I've got it stuck in my head. And the last thing, number four, uh, having said that, backing the mic up, you know, sometimes our rooms don't sound all that flattering, so you might need to compromise the distance if this is the case. Uh, so this large diaphragm condenser will naturally pick up more of the room's ambience. Uh, so it's good to try and start recording in the middle of your room to reduce the overall strength of reflections. And if all else fails, you can try a small diaphragm condenser or a dynamic mic like a 57, which can always be really useful because they're super directional, so they're gonna pick up much less of the room. My last video covered the importance of acoustic treatment, so you know check that out to learn more. One of the tips that I suggested in there was to have more stuff in your room. This is gonna help to diffuse some of the reflections. If you can make a small booth with blankets or towels on some spare mic stands or chairs, this can also help if acoustics are an issue in your room. I'd also recommend recording on a carpet to minimize reflections off of the floor. So I'm sure you're thinking, okay, this information is great, but what does it sound like in a mix? So I put together a little ditty comparing all of the different microphone placements as well as the distances. Let's have a listen to that. All right, so in conclusion, start by using a single microphone to record your acoustic guitar. Position it in front of the body for a warmer sound while remembering to avoid the sound hole, or closer to the 12th fret for more of a crisp pop guitar sound. Angle it slightly towards the body to add a little bit of extra warmth and fullness. Remember to back the mic further away from the guitar for a more developed sound. So between 12 and 18 inches is great for this. And finally, Remember to consider acoustics. Record in the center of the room to reduce the impact of reflections off the wall and record on a carpet to reduce floor reflections into the mic. And if necessary, build a makeshift booth to record a much drier sound. But before you go, which position was your favorite? Let me know in the comments below what is your favorite microphone for recording the acoustic guitar and what position do you find works best? Remember to like and share this video and subscribe for more content and just have a super wonderful time making great music. As always, thanks for watching and happy tracking.